friends, Nibs again, out here at the range, doing a little bit of shooting this morning. <clears throat> nice day, uh, got a day off and uh, gonna enjoy a little bit of time out here doing a little shooting. <clears throat> but I uh, received these Norma pellets from Fort Vancouver Trading. So go ahead and check his eBay store out. And uh, yeah, go ahead and check his eBay store out. Great guy. Um, I bought some of his pellets and then he uh, actually sent me some free samples to try out too. And we're gonna be doing a little bit of both of that today. The first one I'm gonna be doing though is uh, these ones, these are the S-Target Match in 177 caliber. And these ones are an 8.2 grain uh, wad cutter profile. And I do believe that they are identical to this product, which is the RWS Meister Coogans. These are also an 8.2 grain. I weighed about half a dozen of each one of them, and they both weighed, on my scale, they weighed 8.3 grains. But uh, they were very consistent, all 8.3, no variation up or down. So that's a very good plus. <clears throat> So I'm gonna do a group with each one of these from I brought out two of uh, my very beautiful springers from my collection. Uh, the first one we have here is a Winchester model 435. <clears throat> and uh, that equates to a Diana model 35. And this particular one was made in 1970. Have a 2.5 power Bushnell Scope Chief. Very uh, nice old vintage scope on there. <clears throat> and then the other one over there is my Fine Work Bow Model 124. Again, another beautiful gun from, I believe, the early 70s. And that one, I have a Weaver K4 on the top of that one. So very, very similar in setup. Uh, got a little bit of advantage over there uh, with the power of the scope, but we're not uh, <clears throat> we're not really here testing the guns so much as we're testing to see how our groups will be with uh, with various pellets. Um, I also I'm going to do a review on these, but uh, that'll be a different video. These are ones that Kale sent me from Fort Vancouver there. These are Norma Golden Trophy FTs. They're a heavyweight pellet, 9.1 grains, heavier than uh, most that I shoot out of these springers. So we'll see how they do. Um, I'm, I'm sure they'll probably do just fine. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started here. We've got a lot of shooting to do. So this Winchester is a fine shooting gun. I actually just found on eBay and purchased it, and it's coming soon, a Winchester 425, and that's kind of a more of a youth model, so smaller profile, but it's that one's in actually 22 caliber, so that'll be pretty cool. That'll be my first uh, 22 caliber Springer. I have plenty of pump-up guns that are 22 caliber, but I don't have any that are Springer yet, so so these first ones I'm testing are the the Meister Coogans, and uh, I did zero them this roughly uh, with the Meister Coogans. So, but uh, we're going more for group size rather than uh, actual bullseyes or whatever. So. Should be pretty close though. We have to do something with these mounts. I think I'm getting a little bit of scope creep here with these. Uh, I don't have any, there's no locking lugs. There's no, no provision for locking lugs on this uh, rail, so I don't know what I can do about that. By the way, I am shooting at 25 yards here, so 
pretty good stretch for Springer pellet gun. The, uh, the wind is whipping around a little bit out here. It's calm and then it'll, it'll blow up a little bit, so. That can have a big effect on my point of impacts as well. One flyer off to the left, but it looks like the rest of them are settling there pretty nice. I'm sure that was probably just me. Probably uh, didn't have the scope sitting exactly the same way behind my eyeball as the last ones. All right, well. Except for that one that I had a flyer off to the left, it doesn't look like that group is too terrible. Let's uh, go ahead and try some of the Normas out of this gun. I expect uh, very similar results from this guy with that. So. And this morning I was just out playing around in the garage and just compared I compared these Normas to my RWS Meister Coogans and to the R10 R10 match pellets that I have and as far as shape profile, I couldn't find any difference as far as the shape or profile of them. And I did weigh, like I said before, uh, half a dozen or so of each one of them and they all weighed 8.3 grains on my scale. So. So, so far, the I had that one flyer, but we can probably discount that as a, a goof up on my part. But other than that, these groups look like they're pretty, pretty good groups for starters. And uh, very similar size groups as well. that uh, Winchester 425 that I get shoots half as good as this one. Well, I, honestly, I, I hope it shoots as good as this one, but uh, yeah, some, some pretty excellent looking groups there. Had that one flyer from the Meister Coog and I just, just did land one outside of the bullseye there for the Normas, but <clears throat> let's go ahead and switch over here. So here we go. Here's the fine work bow. So both of these rifles, I have tuned uh, tuned the internals pretty good. Got the triggers working really nice on them. So they both have a really nice cocking cycle and uh, shot cycle. One has a automatic setting trigger, so I have to remember to. <laughs> so this one does have a 
a lighter trigger for sure, but uh, the Winchester's trigger is, you know, not terrible by any stretch. It's just a little bit heavier. I think it was two and a half, three pounds, something like that. And I just couldn't get it to go any lighter. And these are the Meister Coogans for the in the fine work bow. Looking like a really good group starting forming up there. Of course, now that I've said something, it'll go ahead and blow up on me probably, but. Still keeping the wheels on the bus so far. Yeah, this is, uh, both of these are fantastic old guns. Oh, pulled that one up just a little. Still a great looking group though. All right, let's see what we can do with these Normas. So we'll do five of those and then we'll wrap it up. Yeah, I was pretty certain that uh, these were gonna be almost identical to the Target stands are set up at this t range here. They got four by fours on each side with uh, chicken wire fencing mesh or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the six actually, actually looks like concrete mesh here. Oh, forgot the safety. Darn it. Looks like a good looking group. Point of impact did shift just a little bit. I don't know if it's enough to say they're different, but. Pull that one a little low, but still looks like a good looking group. So the uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, very nice. Looks like the fine work bow uh, definitely doing a, a, a tighter group, but. Uh, very similar group, so that's what I was really kind of looking for was whether the grouping would be similar between the two rifles, between the two pellets. And uh, let me, uh, I'll do a pause here real quick and I'll go grab that target and just really get a good look at it. I can see it through the scope, but not as good as I can right up close. So I'll be right back. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, wow, that fine work <laughs> really likes these pellets a lot. So uh, that's pretty awesome. The uh, 
Winchester didn't do too bad. Uh, definitely larger groups than the Feinwerk bow, but still a great gun, fun shooting gun. And uh, we'll uh, have that one out for more testing later on, but <clears throat> I haven't really done much testing with that one to see which pellets it really shoots the best. Um, been focusing more on the Feinwerk bow and the, the Viral. But I'm going to give that one a little bit more uh, attention and see if I can figure out what, what it likes the best. But I think this uh, kind of proves out that, uh, in my mind anyway, between the weight, the profile, just looking at the profile of them, and then now seeing the groups that a couple of final guns can shoot, uh, both of these pellets are, I think, identical. So whichever one you can find cheaper, I'm sure would probably work just fine uh, for your gun. But anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We'll be, you'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Until next time, have a great day.